Hey everybody, welcome to our little tutorial here. So we've had a, quite a few people asking us how are we using multiple PNG tubers on our streams. So, figured might as well go ahead and make a little tutorial for it and what software we're using and the whole setup process. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to need for anybody who's doing this is some type of VTuber display software. The one we personally use and like is VianoTuber, which looks a little something like this. Really simple software. It is freeware as well. It has a lot of customization options for mouth open, mouth close, blinking animations, so on and so forth, as well as hotkeys if you prefer to have different states with your PNG tuber. Alright, the next thing you'll need, and this is also for anybody who's going to be using their PNG tuber, is the OBS software or Streamlabs. In this case, you'll need OBS. The reason being is we're going to want the virtual camera that you see here. How we're going to do this is you'll set your source for your PNG tuber as your virtual camera. That way it thinks that your webcam basically is your PNG tuber. And the final piece that we're going to need here is OBS.Ninja, which is a site that allows you to consolidate all of your PNG tubers into one space. What you'll do is whoever's hosting the stream is going to create a room, and you'll be able to name the room, add a password for your guests, and once that room is created, it will look something like this. Now, you can already see I've already got Mythics in here where we've been working on this just for the demonstration purposes, but normally, all you'll have to do is copy the link, send this to whoever it's going to go to, and then allow them to use their Vienna Tuber, uh, through or well, PNG tuber anyway through their webcam or their virtual camera and it'll show up here something important to note if you're using discord which most people are going to be doing that for streams is to mute any guests in here because it can create crosstalk if you do not all right now that we have our first guest or multiple guests in this case we're going to take this and copy the solo link to our clipboard Next, you're going to go into Streamlabs or OBS, whichever one you're using typically, and you're going to just add them as a source. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to go to Browser Source, and then I already have one set up for Mifix, as you can see right here under Mifix PNG. Otherwise, you'll be adding a new source. So I'm going to set up Mifix, throw her in here, and next, normally I'd be setting the properties where you'll set the web URL. In this case, I'm going to do that exact thing if I can actually click it. All right, hit OK, and then she's going to pop up. Now, something to note here is on their side, I've got Mythic set to magenta since she doesn't have a whole lot of colors that are complementary for her going to interfere. The reason why her background should be set as magenta or anybody in that matter that you're using or having them come on is because you're going to have to set a chroma key filter. So, next thing would be, otherwise you'll see the pink background like we have here. So you're going to go into filters, and you can already see here I've got chroma key set with magenta, which is why it's coming up as just a uh, blank background. Now I can resize my PNG tuber buddies here. I'll put her down here next to me. And voila, you have your multiple PNG tubers. And as far as I can tell, there is no limit to this. I uh, could do probably eight to 10 people at one time if you really wanted to. But each person would have to do the same sequence. And whoever's hosting is gonna put it into OBS or Streamlabs as you see here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Otherwise, Happy PNG tubing.